Hi, I'm Mayor Deborah Keenan with Montgomery Township. And I'm Brian O'Shea, County Library Director. And we're here to check out the new library. So Deborah, it's hard to believe, but in a year, this building will be open, this digitalization lab will be humming with people. Excellent. And the children's room, which doesn't look like a children's room yet, <laughs> will be full of kids. Full of kids this as the opposed program to program area over here. Great. What kind of programs do you think are going to be here? All kinds of programs that uh, we emphasize learning literacy Wonderful. with small children and teaching parents how to enhance their children's reading readiness. Wonderful. Well, this will be great. I'm, I'm very excited about this. And then I believe over here we're going to have actually the section for the, the children's section. Well, this entire section here that you all see kids. from that wall out is all children. Wonderful. It's a real partnership between, okay. as you said, the county government itself, mm -hmm. the Improvement Authority, the county library, and the township mm -hmm. of Montgomery. And uh, for us, this is really exciting. It's our first new library branch in, well, since 1991. Wow, well, that's so exciting. We're gonna do a lot of proof of concept things that we know are gonna work, but we need to do them and okay. show people. Show them in action. So that digitization lab that we looked at earlier, right. we know there's demand for that. You've got boxes of photos that you know you have to do something. Oh, I have no boxes of anything. Oh, yes, I like, I've got tons of boxes of photos. You're right. Absolutely. And I know from the township, we've got historical photos that'll be wonderful to make sure that they get digitized and accessible outside of New Jersey as well. I mean, well, we're part of, we're one of the founding members of the New Jersey Delaware partnership that's part of the Digital Public Library of America. So Excellent. we're actually working to get all of those things that are in historical societies, not only digitized, but accessible to everyone throughout the world. So we're sitting in the Future Podcast studio, which is pretty awesome here. And your fireplace. Oh, let's check that out. So the fireplace will be on the show. Nice, so we can grab a cafe, a coffee over there. And coffee go, over there. And, and, and a, read a magazine. Know that if your kids are over there in the children's room, you'll see them coming out. This is going to be cool. So, what does what, tell me about the automated? What does it do? What do you, how does it work? The automated materials handling system will allow a customer to return materials either outside or inside, dump them in a chute, it will sort them out, scan them in, whether they're upside down or right side up, okay. and then sort them into any one of seven bins, trapping holds and then sorting things that either go to a different branch or putting all the children's materials in one place and the adult fiction in another. So they're much quicker for us to get back on the Wonderful. Shelves. Oh, this is exciting. This will be our first branch where we have 24-7 uh, lockers. Oh, so cool. if you place an item on hold, you can say, I want to pick it up in my locker. Very similar to how you might use Amazon for delivery. Okay. Which means you can come anytime you get a text message that your item is ready to pick up. You can come to the locker outside the building and pick it up. This is really wonderful. We know it's going to be probably our second busiest branch. 